Hello everybody and welcome to what is probably one of the last episodes of this playthrough. So let's kick things off today by putting down one of the final requirements for getting our rocket. So just a quick recap. In order to launch a rocket, we need to be able to build 100 of these. So we'll need 10,000 RCUs or rocket control units, 10,000 low density structures and 10,000 rocket fuel. So first thing is first. Uh, we are still missing quite a few inserters here. Let's get that out of the way. Are we missing electric? Sort of missing electric power poles because the blueprint actually does not connect. The blueprint relies on power poles on the other side. So I need to put this one here. And that should make it work. So, the first thing that I want to actually do is, I want to put down another four of these, but these ones will actually be outputting in a chest, instead of going back to our Propo Science. And let's limit this to a few stacks here. I do not remember exactly, yeah, for power armor we need 25 speed module 2 and 25 speed efficiency module 2 and a few other st stuff, but um, the important part is the efficiency modules. So I want to get a bit of a head start on those. Now we're not gonna require that many, so I'm just gonna place down a few here. This belt is going to end here, this belt is going to continue and we're gonna have two of those and two of these. And again, we're gonna be outputting in a chest. Let me see where the attacks are. To worry about those attacks so just a quick math here those are dangerous words to say on a live stream i've said it a few times and i'm gonna say it a few more times but uh for 25 of these we need four speed modules level one uh sorry for one we need four for 25 we're gonna need a hundred speed modules and i believe that the stack size is I'm fairly sure the stack size is 50 so we're gonna leave it at that we're gonna need quite a few efficiency modules at least one for the rocket if not anything else so let's leave it at that now let's take a look at one of the final things that we need to build or second to last thing I might say because we don't need rocket fuel and that reminds me let's queue up 25 for now we might do more um, I'll think about that later so again let's go here and set the recipe to RCUs so for RCUs quite straightforward actually one processing unit and one speed module at 30 seconds and if you were paying close attention as we were looking at the earlier setups this is 15 second crafting time so that means that one of these will be enough to supply to RCU labs and we are gonna need one processing unit and 
five electronic circuits and five advanced circuits to produce one of these. So let's go ahead with the setup. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a lane here of I'm trying to think how to balance this. So we're gonna need 10 for every one, 10 red and green for every one blue. So I think it makes sense to have two belts of red and uh, green respectively. We're gonna have a well, a uh, factory in between and then another factory of RCUs here. This is gonna be the speed module. At this speed, everything is gonna be yellow and longhand inserters. There's no point in pretending that we're actually gonna need anything more than that. And We are going to be dealing with two lanes here. The output lane is actually going to go up, unlike all the other ones. And let's see, this outputs here. This will output on that belt. And it will input from this belt. Now, I was thinking if there would be a nice way to kind of um, use just the one side of the belt. And uh, I, I do want to have a, a two, lane, uh, two sides here, so we produce faster. I do want to set it up like this eventually, but I don't know if there's a nice way to do this with just one belt because we definitely do not need two belts for throughput, but I guess we have the space, so... Why not? Let's keep it like this. And... This one's here, this one's here, and this one, and this one. So if ever in doubt, just remember that when you're doing symmetrical builds, you need to see either two lanes or two arrows here. Do I still have... I have one power pole remaining. This is probably one of, the, one of the first playthroughs that I've actually carried all the way to the end with regular power poles. And let's see, this is 30 seconds per piece. This um, was... Okay, I didn't like what I saw there. Why is my power so low? Are we out of coal? No, but the top side is not connected. And we are actually kind of running out of coal. And if I was to do this... Okay, so first things first. I will not put more beacons in because beacons, so, sorry, not beacons, but modules. Modules, except the efficiency module, will have the nasty effect of skyrocketing our energy consumption. And that is something that we definitely do not want to happen right now. You can already see that we don't have two full belts here and for 
for some reason this is not working at full speed we should have done a proper merger in there all of these are working we don't have any okay this one is not connected and we have a few more at the top which are not working and we have 62 in total so we barely have enough and that is why we don't have a full lane of all here quite unfortunate but also the fact that the yellow belt is not able to this is i believe a fully compressed yellow belt still and this is still not able to deliver the amount of coal that we need we can actually see that it completely drains everything are we at least yeah, we are at least uh, green on power again. Let's go ahead and finish that build there. I think that the, as long as we don't increase power consumption drastically, we should still be able to keep up uh, our laser defenses. And that is one of the reasons why I haven't gone overboard with how many laser defenses I actually placed. Because the laser turrets will drain quite a high amount of passive energy consumption. Um, well, that being said, and I just said I'm not gonna use a high amount. Yeah, our plastic is our plastic is dead. This will consume. Oh, 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 I do not want to do that. So, because this actually has the prod mods as input, it will actually just try to use them as inputs rather than. rather than um, module the factories. What am I missing here? Uh, I am missing the other thing that I was sure... Well, I said it just before we started the, the episode yesterday. Plastic and steel are gonna be next on the menu to run out. I will however want to place a few beacons. Now I'm a bit torn because this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna place them like this. So that eventually we will get beacons. And let's go ahead and place a few of these. the fact that I do not have belts I'm missing a few I'm missing a lot of things but uh, this is the output belt and this is gonna come here I actually do not remember the the space that's required but I will stack these in in those belts I will get these ones so this one needs to go like this and this one needs to go like this so this should be the corner of our rocket silo And I think I should be able to have... 
I'm gonna take a much simpler approach. So this is gonna be one of them, this is gonna be the second one, and this is gonna be the third one. So low density structures. Where do we have low density structures? They come all the way here. So I will actually keep an equal distribution. I don't want to take off the end of that belt. And I don't want this to come here. still holding that's good so that will divert half of our low density structures over to our rocket build now here we'll have this lane of green circuits running all the way here this is gonna be a red lane so we do need at least one more but we actually are gonna need two more so this will go here split Changing my mind a bit. I'm actually not gonna use two full lanes, but I will do a pretty something I consider a pretty nice uh, trick. So let's do it like this and like this. So red chips are gonna come in here, and green chips I'm gonna jump this and come in here now if I collect all of these we should see that we now have a nice distribution of red and green chips and I need to collect all of these Change this into a yellow inserter belt. So this will go like this. That one has one, that one has one now. And that's the last one that we need. And do the same thing over. Over here. I'm just gonna do the put the bell down first and then go drag the inserter. My movement speed is now good enough to Oh, whoa, 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 we are being attacked here. So that is gonna become a problem relatively soon. So we have this thing now and I will pick up Just the 
there's the blue circuit and go through here that is blue circuits something went wrong here yeah because i thought that would go all the way there and it didn't so like this so that should give us blue chips And they are sending bigger and bigger rats over our way. Let's gather so we are missing a few factories and a few inserters. Let's go grab those. check if we're low on anything else because yeah undergrounds are low we need inserters i'm gonna take more belt i'm gonna top up the splitters pipe we don't have definitely don't have enough pipe long hand head inserters as you've probably seen, I keep have the tendency to call them long hand inserters. I'm actively trying to correct that, but it's uh, proving quite challenging at points. We could look at doing this now, but uh, that's not the time nor the place. I do want to get a few more of these. Attack again, attack with damage. Well, that's not good. Uh, we still have a bit of steel in our buffer, although this is producing at full speed now. So, while our power is still holding, I want to take a bit of time here and First thing is first, I want to do something that I should have done a very long time ago. So let me first double check we're completely out of petroleum and these are not able to crack nearly enough. So we are gonna scale those but before we scale anything we need to build some electric engines because we need a few pumps a few pumps yeah so electric engine i don't know if three is enough let's get a few more Something must have went wrong there. Anyway, let's start with two, and I think I'm gonna need a few more wires. Can I steal some copper from here, please? Thank you. No. Definitely going to need more wire here. So what I want to do here is I want to limit how much fluids we're pushing out of the heavy oil and light oil tanks for cracking. And that is because we do need these for other uh, products as well. And we're going to need them even more now so first of all i'm going to connect all of this to a power pole and we should see how much fluid we have in our system and now i'm just gonna do 
craft first of all to four decider combinators so it's gonna be two for each they both need power and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this power pole which has all signals gonna connect them to the input side and then the output side i'm gonna connect to this pump the first thing that i'm gonna say is i want this pump to be enabled only when i'm gonna use the yellow signal here only when yellow signal equals two and this is gonna output yellow both of these are gonna output yellow signal in a quantity of one and we're gonna have two conditions here so we want to crack yellow uh, light uh, oil when we have enough oil and we don't have enough petroleum which is what it cracks into so we want to crack this when yellow oil is greater than and let's say 5000 a storage tank will hold 25,000 so 5,000 should be a bit of buffer and this out actually you can see that it outputs a one here and we want to crack this when petroleum is not higher than 20,000 actually let's take it down to 15 and you're gonna see that this pump is actually running now and if we flip this and again we need to connect the input sides back to our power pole and have both of these working out these have the conditions wrong because light oil needs to be heavy oil here and petroleum needs to be light oil And this is actually correct because this is saying that we have enough heavy oil but this is us saying that we have too much light oil. Uh, until we get more light oil this is not going to do anything which is perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Now let's add a few missing inserters I guess. Uh, but no really. Let's double the production of this why not let's triple we are out of we have big problems our train is gonna be destroyed because we just have had a massive attack there train destroyed all of our buffer is gonna be destroyed not sure why we had this big of an attack that is definitely kick things a notch a bit where's our car we need to jump in our car we need to well we have enough resources to hopefully recraft the train and everything there but right now we just need to i need to go around the base and hearing that beeping sound it's so extremely stressing we've just lost 170 entities let's place the car Well, most of it is belt at least, but they've actually went into the resource patch. I should have had defenses there. I don't know which patch is it. That's the copper patch. Did they have an expansion around here that I was just not aware of? Oh no, they have... No, 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 I need to run, I need to run, I need to run.
Okay, let's... I don't know why my movement was so slow, like... Yes, I do get slower when uh, I'm on, I'm sitting on their acid, but um, that felt like very slow movement speed, or that was maybe just me having to deal with everything. So we do have a, an expansion base there. I think that's why we had such a huge pollution problem let's craft one of these I'm gonna craft the I'm gonna try to just keep it to the right amount of chests I don't have nowhere enough I don't have any miners I think actually this train is... that's the train that's out of fuel, so... Well, first things first. That is a big biter. Do we have power for this? I think we should have power. Now, with this many laser grids, I think we should be able to not worry. So yeah, the problem with expansion bases is that they come with all sorts of nasty surprises like those big worms. But again, that was nothing that we couldn't handle and we need to go push the... we need to go push many bases around here. So, I think that we're gonna be pushing the two bases that we have at the top right now. And call it a day for, at least for this episode. Let's see, that's enough. This should give me enough defense range. Let's get rid of the, this wave of scooters. Okay, those are all the biters. Let's get rid of that one. And we have one more over here that we need to go push. This is the disadvantage of using... Um, Laser turrets, you need to drag power poles everywhere you go. And sometimes there's a very dense forest in your way. And our base just got attacked from the from the north. That is a bit surprising given the fact that we've just cleared everything out okay, I think we put the first expansion a bit too far away I'm gonna put another one down I'm gonna be running all the way back and collecting all of my power poles which is admittedly not the most interesting thing to do but at least that sh should buy us a few times with the attacks from the um, from the north and I do under well we we did understand why we had that massive attack that was probably the first attack that came from that expansion base. 
So expansion bases are now going to be a huge problem for our port turret defenses. Let me see if I can get the copper train running again. Where? Again, we took damage there. That's not ideal. But getting the copper train to run again, I think that is... Way more important. So, first thing we need to... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna set this to manual. I'm gonna add. We need. To, I need to. I really need to do a train fuel at our main base. So let's build four cargo wagons. Oh, I understand now what's happening. We do not have train tracks there. It took me way too long to figure that out, but um, I eventually figured it out. So, Let's send this back to the main base. We're missing quite a few things here. We did have a fairly big attack. Let's add a couple of more turrets here. And well, we are go gonna go down and push a few more bases in the next episode. But I think that's it for this one. Uh, Thank you all very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you here next time.